I'm Jason Robinson reporting for Fox News. And in the hot zone this week is socialite Kim Kardashian. Tell everybody out there about your brand new fragrance that you're launching. Well, you tell me. What do you think of it? Yeah, I'm sure it fellas. You know, I've worked really hard at this, and it's just so cool to have so much input. And Lighthouse Beauty really gave me a lot of power in creating the scent, helping creating the bottle. The show is so wild. Is it all really reality, or is some of it staged? Unfortunately, it is all real. <laughs> so I think that's why it does well. I am here with the uh, R&B star, Robin Thicke. Tell me what you're doing here today. I'm just here to sing a couple songs and uh, unleash the new scents of Hugo Boss. What can your fans expect from your uh, performance tonight? I was going to do magic. And I was going to do Lost Without You. As Michael Jackson said, give the people what they want. I just heard that you have been nominated for a Grammy. Yeah, I just can't believe it. It's so amazing and exciting. And, you know, the record's been out now for nine months in the U.S., but it's just popped because of... C100. <laughs> Listen, man, can you believe it's been 10 whole years since the release of Reasonable Doubt, man? Yeah. <laughs> it feels like yesterday, though, but yeah. <laughs> and how has your style changed from uh, then to now? Uh, you know, I'm mellow. I'm cool. I'm more, I'm more cool. That guy was a, had a, had a, a him against the system way of thinking that was real dangerous at that time. How was it uh, winning the World Series? It was a great victory. Oh, yeah, it was fun. I mean, that's what you play for is to get the opportunity to win a championship, and I forgot how good it felt. <laughs> Being on American Idol, mm -hmm. uh, what did that mean for your career? I was so blessed to be a part of the show. American Idol took wonderful care of me and the contestants that were on my season, and I wish all of the ones that are on there this year good luck, have fun. And you're going to perform tonight, correct? Yes. I'll perform a picture with the orchestra with a phenomenal singer, Giselle. It's the first time I've really sang it in Soundcheck where somebody put, like, a gospel feel to it. You never thought to hear those... Uh, Four words together. What's your uh, current relationship with uh, your ex-husband, Charlie Sheen? Uh, today we're in a, a great place. Am I going to get kicked out of here? Because I heard this was a ladies-only tour, know, man. I kick you out, man. I don't know. <laughs> I'm on two singles out right now. Here I stand as well as uh, Trading Places, which you're doing very well. Uh, tell us all about uh, you hosting tonight's event with Bing. How is that going to make you feel? We're celebrating Gotham Magazine, which is on stands now. And Gotham Magazine is a lot about New York. It's great to be here. I'm glad to be home. I've been on the road, so being able to come back to New York is like such a good feeling. How important was American Idol for your career? It's changed my life and a lot of other people's lives. It opened so many doors and it was such a platform for so many opportunities. Would you tell me what it feels like to be an honoree tonight at Steve Harvey's Foundation Gala? It, it feels pretty fantastic because, you know, of what this represents, you know. When he, when he asked, I had to say yes because of what it represents, you know. The latest phenomenon is rappers to actors. You did a great job in last holiday. Oh, is Was that transition easy for you? Uh, well, I wouldn't say it was easy. It's always challenging to do a film and, uh, Working with Queen Latifah was a lot of fun. The rapping, to clothing line, to acting. What are you going to do, run for mayor next, L? Well, <laughs> you never know. <laughs>